Hey, any fish? It's the 15th of December, 2018. I hope you're all doing well. It's been difficult lately to do anything, to focus on any particular thing. There's so much going on. It's so crazy, you guys. Man, is it ever crazy. This is this is coming quicker and quicker and quicker. But I had to share this stuff with you this morning. Um, I still i am not fully clear on what this really means. Uh, I just know that a, oh, a crazy set of circumstances led me to it. And it was uh, verified, essentially, by some scripture. So, I see this article. Francis to become first pope ever to offer mass on the Arabian Peninsula. This is just the whole ecumenical, bring the whole world to, we all worship one God. They're all doing it. The churches of the United Churches, all these, you know, even the Jews are doing it. You know, we all got to come and worship one God, the same God, the whole thing, right? So this is pretty important. And he's not going until February, right? So it comes upon me just out of nowhere land that it reminded me of the other day when I was talking about the Vatican Christmas tree and the sand nativity, which is crazy. Uh, they they dedicated the thing, I guess you'd call it, on the 8th. Uh, we could go over this image itself for an hour. It, it's, just, it's just off the hook. It's so blatant now, so in your face. Uh, but they dedicated their uh, their 69-foot Christmas tree, okay? And remember, the 8th was the same day as the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. This means something. And again, I, I'm not exactly sure, but I know that this, this is to do with the blood of Christ. This is to do with Satan's plan to deceive the world. Um, it, it's so insane. Uh, it's just that much and so i'm just doing the best i can right so they did that on the same very same day which is so symbolic it's it's unbelievable spiritual symbolism it's all part of that same spiritual war that's just ongoing and all these connections that all of us see they're all pertinent they're all important because we don't see the manifestation you know, as these times come and go and these, these various things that we see, that doesn't mean anything. You know in your spirit that this spiritual war is manifesting at a record speed, man. It is coming, and it's coming quicker and quicker. And I don't know if this has something to do with, a, you know, it's like all the other times, but it's very interesting, okay? I was I was just led to go and see when... The Pope became the Pope because I remember that. I remember them burning their smoke and they were praying to the beast in the uh, Sistine Chapel to, to vote in the new Pope, Pope Francis. And that was literally decided. He became the Pope on the 13th of March, 2013. Uh, that's, that's pretty wacky in and of itself. 3-13-13, right? But I, I pull it forward. And I go to the 23rd and I include the day because this is the target number I was, I was looking at because the, the 2112 in the occult world is, is very meaningful. It, it truly is. And the fact that he's going to be Pope for 2112 days as of the 23rd or the 24th, Christmas Eve, is very interesting to me i mean there's just a lot of interesting things here the 9 11s the 69 months 11 days interesting stuff so i go there and i'm like i don't understand what i'm supposed to see here except for that that's pretty cool um am i supposed to explain the 2012 to people uh and it's like no 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 go look at when the winter solstice is okay and i got the 23rd here but the winter solstice in jerusalem is on the 22nd and it happens to be at 12:22 a.m. which is very strange 12:22 12:22 right so this is crazy you guys i'm just telling you okay i hear go back to 911 i want you to go to 911 okay so i go to 911 that i hear go to the 22nd 12:22 okay so that's what i do 
from 9-11 to 12-22. And it's 63-11 days, which I was like, wow, that's that's pretty weird. You know, a, a blatant 9-11, right? And there's that 3-11 again. The 17, always like seeing that number. And then another 9-11, okay? So, all right, I'm just like, okay, whatever. And, and I'm telling you, this is the strangest stuff that happens. This, this is a weird one. Uh, the days, he says, 180. And I'm like, 180? Turn it around, turn it around. So I turn it around, and it's 1136. I'm like, okay, look it up. I look it up. In the Greek, 1136. It is Gog. Okay, I'm like, wow, that's weird. A symbolic name for some future Antichrist. Gog. And it originates from the Hebrew, 1463. Gog. Okay. I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to see here? I'm not quite sure. So I just punch it into the into the Bible, you know, to see how many places it is, Gog. It's mostly Ezekiel 38, the Gog, Magog war that many are talking about. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Ezekiel 39, 11, it's almost the exact same number. And look how many times it's in the entirety of the Bible. 11 times in total in nine verses, 9-11. I'm like, wow, what the heck am I seeing here? I'm not really sure. So here I am sharing it with you, not really knowing what it is I'm seeing. But I knew I had to share it when I saw my Bible verse that, you know, I, I got to ask for confirmation because a lot of times, man, my mind, will let me go somewhere that it might not need to go. And if I don't get a good solid confirmation and I put it out there, it's like, oh, what a dummy. So you know what I'm saying? So I go for a Bible verse. And it just freaked me out when I saw this. It really, it truly did. It freaked me out. And I think it might freak you out too a little bit. 1 Corinthians 13, 11 through 13. Just unbelievable, and especially after I was just looking at the Pope being in office on 3.13.13. That was just freaky, you know what I mean? But read, look at what this says. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now, we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth in faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> but something going on, of course, with Christmas, the solstice. I mean, that's just crazy stuff, you guys. Gog, Magog. So, again... I share it. I love you. Peace and grace to you. Shabbat Shalom. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 